case classes are regular classes that are immutable by default. Immutability helps us in writing classes without having to worry about or keeping track of where and when things are being modified. This helps in writing code which does not act weird. Case classes can be pattern matched. Pattern matching simplifies the branching logic and helps us writing more readable code. For case classes, the compiler automatically generates the hash code and equals method and hence less boilerplate code. It is recommended to use case classes as they help in writing more expressive and maintainable code. Let's understand case classes and pattern matching with a demo. We have provided sample code on CloudX Lab GitHub repository. Please clone the repository if you haven't. Otherwise, just update it. Now go to case underscore classes directory and open case underscore class dot scala file. We have defined two case classes, email and SMS. Note that we define a case class using case keyword. Both SMS and email case classes extend the notification class, which is an abstract class. We have created two instances of SMS class with the same parameter. We can compare them with equals equals operator. Run the file. And you can see that the two instances are equal. Now let's understand the pattern matching with an example. Open pattern underscore matching dot scala. Here we have defined a function show notification, which takes notification class instance as an argument and its return type is string. Here we are matching notification instance with the case class. As we are passing the instance of SMS class to this function, it will match the case SMS and return the corresponding string. Let's run the file and you can see you got an SMS from number 12345 masses colon hello is printed on the screen.